Hi Pisces, it's me Gregory Scott. Thank you for joining me. This is your astrology and tarot forecast for February 2015. So I hope you've had a really good start to the year. I hope January has felt good. I get a feeling that you Pisces have done really well in January. I think it was tough for a lot of other signs but I think you've had a really good start. So let's have a look at what February is going to bring. The first thing is a full moon in Leo in your sixth house and this is really um, interesting because what this does is it it uh, kind of lights a fire under your daily circumstances and I see you being really really busy around this time busy in a good way I think you get a lot of stuff done I think you build your confidence and I think you're going to be feeling really good at this time of the um, full moon a sense of passion a sense of purpose and a sense of really fast movement now Neptune is in your sign of Pisces in your first house you're going to be feeling like you have a dream of what you could achieve and what you could become Venus Chiron and Mars are also in Pisces in that first house and you're going to have a somewhat um, fantastical idea of yourself so it may be that you see yourself as some big um, movie star or that you see yourself as entitled to things that you're not really entitled to or that you see yourself as special and different and it's important to have a reality check with yourself so that you don't get ungrounded. Connect with family, connect with people who have known you for years and years and years who can tell you, oh, um, I didn't realize you'd become a millionaire and that you're entitled to yellow M&Ms in your bowl at 7 in the morning. I thought you were just a normal person. <laughs> so it's important to get down to earth a little bit sometimes because you know the mind can play tricks and especially with that Neptune in Pisces. <laughs> Alright, so Mercury has been in retrograde since the 21st of January and it comes out of retrograde on the 11th of February and that happens in your 12th house of spirituality and service. So you start to communicate now on a more reasonable level and you start to think about how you can help other people instead of asking other people to help you. It's a nice shift. Valentine's Day on the 14th. Um, I think you really spend that with people who are nearest and dearest to you and that's where you're going to get the most comfort. I think if you spend it at home with your partner, you're going to really enjoy that. If you're single, I don't really see you making major inroads into meeting someone new. I get a more homely, more established kind of feeling around this Valentine's Day. The new moon occurs on the 18th of February and again that's in your 12th house of spirituality and service and I really see you focusing on how you can help other people so it's almost like the beginning of the month you're kind of a little bit in fantasy land uh, thinking of yourself as something really wonderful special profound and now you kind of snap out of it a little bit and you say I am a person um, like everybody else and I can help other people and how am I going to do that which is, I think, a little bit more realistic. Mars goes into Aries on the 20th. Venus goes into Aries on the Aries on the 21st. And both of those are in your second house of belongings and finances. And I think the focus shifts again now on the 21st of February. And it's about making some money and um, looking at how you can improve your financial circumstances. And I think you're going to be really driven and I think you're going to love doing that and you're going to have a wonderful idea which uh, will allow you to make some money. So if you have ideas around the 20th and 21st, please don't disregard those. Please take those seriously and act on those because they will be good financial, they will bring about good financial circumstances. They, that continues until the end of the month and really this idea continues and it can really give new life to your hopes and dreams here and it can really uh, work specifically well if you connect it with other people's money. If you have an idea that you get other people to invest in, you can really make something happen here. That's exciting. It's like I want to start my own business doing mind, body, spirit healing. I want my own kind of um, healing center. You have that idea, you connect with the local community, someone who uh, will invest in your idea and you start to make that happen. That would be great. So that's the kind of energy I get, that you can really make some practical um, inroads into improving your financial life. 
I'm going to draw a card here, and the card is the Hierophant. And the Hierophant is about thinking outside of the box and not being scared. Beginning of the month, you won't have any problem with that. But the end of the month, when you're trying to um, achieve something for yourself, I think you may become a little bit more timid. So especially at the end of the month, be there for yourself. Say, this is a good idea. I can make this happen. And I'm going to move forward with it and jump the hurdles that will come in the way like they always do because we live on planet Earth. So I hope that's useful to you. If you would like a private reading with me, please get in touch by my website. It's gregoryscott.com. Uh, remember to subscribe to the channel and you can also email me. The address is readings at gregoryscott.co.uk. Have a wonderful February and I'll speak to you soon. I'm using the Radiant Rider weight deck for this reading. Let's see what's coming up. Okay, 